Alright, um, hey guys. I was watching a tutorial on the channel from the 696 baby, and he taught me something really, really helpful. It's about, um, creating your own script. For example, so if I come up in the corner, I have this little icon. If I click it, I automatically get my text with my Nickelman name, uh, my depth, my height, uh, the align to middle, all the caps is set. The only thing I have to do is change my font, which I can do real quick, and I'm done. I'll teach you how to do this with the text, and then you can use this technique for anything else. Alright, so what you're first going to do to do this is um, go under Window, Layout, and go Command Manager. Now we got um, the command manager, and it says a whole bunch of stuff. In the name filter, type script. Oops. Oh, where's the eye? I can't see. There we go. I'll type script, and look for the thing that says script log. Double click, double click on that, and it'll open up this little window. Delete everything in there and put it off to the side all right now what we're gonna do is we're simply gonna do what you would want to do when you're setting up um your text so MoGraph, mo text um set it up however you want to i'm gonna set mine up with align to middle i'm gonna set mine up with nom for nickel man i'm gonna set mine at Fifth, oops. There we go. Fifty depth. I'm just gonna delete these camera things, <coughs> and then I'm gonna go font and I'm not sure if you can keep a font. I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna go caps. I'm gonna go fill it cap. Set my fill it caps. Fill cap to steps two, step three, and you can do whatever you want. Um, now, when you got your text, all the things that you want um, on 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 any of these start steps radius and step radius, any of them, right click and go down to create scripts, and you'll get this thing. Um, click new, and I'm gonna type Nick. Oh man, 13. And then click OK. And then what you're going to do after that is down here there's a big open box. Highlight everything that you got in your script log. So oh, I accidentally cut it, but you can just copy it and paste it right in that big box. And then um, go save all. And there you go. You got your script. Um, you can change this little icon, you can click load icon, and you can go and grab whatever you want, but I'm just going to click render icon and it's going to give me a little thing that says nom, I'm just going to fix it up a little bit so I can see it better. Now if I click render icon, a little bit off, there we go. Trying to fit the whole name into the screen. Render icon. Right there. Now we can see it says, um, it shows a picture of what it makes in the icon. Go just click save all. You can close both of those things. And now you go Windows, Layout, Command Manager, and search whatever you named it as. I can search Nickelman 13. Double. Oops, we don't want to double click on that. Um, I'm just going to go back, find my thing again. And now you can click and you can drag it where, and put it wherever you want. Uh, you can put it in between any of these. You can put it on the side here. Um, you can put it down here. And um, now 
if we delete it, uh, you click it, and boom, we got it. Um, it doesn't save the font, so you'll have to do the font manually. It's not that hard. It takes a couple seconds. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. And then if you don't like where it is, you can just right click, edit palettes, and you can drag it someplace else. Um, and then every, and then just right click again and unselect edit palettes. Yeah, so it's as easy as that to create your own scripts in Cinema 4D. Um, it's very helpful instead of every single time going and making a new text you can just click on a button and it's there for you um you can use that on create let's say every single thing that you do in in um cinema 40 you use a cube and you have a special setting for the cube you can make one for a cube um you do anything so um yeah that's basically the tutorial um, thanks for watching. If you guys got any questions on this tutorial, um, or any suggestions for other tutorials, uh, just comment or send me a private message, private message. Um, hope you guys subscribe if you're not, and, um, hope you guys found this useful. Alright, see you later.